In this lecture, we are going to hear about wind turbine technology, terminologies and components that you're going to use in this course. It's an introduction where you afterwards should be able to list the main components of a commercial horizontal axis wind turbine and you should be able to list the main degrees of freedom that such a turbine has. The main components of the turbine is the, the rotor that generates the aerodynamic torque from the wind. It's the nacelle that converts the torque into electrical power up here. It's the tower that holds the nacelle and the rotor blades up in the wind and also provides access to the nacelle for maintenance. And it's the foundation that holds the whole turbine uh, in place and into the wind. The main degrees of freedom of a wind turbine is the azimuth, the rotation of the rotor we call the azimuth, and normally it's calculated uh, as from, from vertical uh, distance, the azimuth angle. We have the yaw, which is uh, the degree of freedom that is used to turn a nacelle into the wind and the whole rotor. And then we have the pitch angle, which is rotations of the blades uh, about it, its lengthwise axis, uh, typical due to a, a controller action. If we look at the rotor, it consists of the blades, the hub, the spinner, and the pit bearing, and also the pit system, which is inside the hub. Here we see a picture of a hub and a spinner. You can, you can see the, uh, the hub behind the spinner in here, the metal part, and outside typical a glass fiber uh, plastic hub. And then we have the blades here on the ground. In this case, for this blades, the pitch bearing, the bearing which turns the blades about their lengthwise axis is part of the blade and not of the hub. Typically, it would be part of the hub. And here we see how the whole rotor is lifted up to the turbine we have here at Risø, uh, the DTU campus at Risø. If we look at the nacelle, it consists of the drivetrain that converts the uh, aerodynamic torque that goes in through the hub, through the main shaft, or also called the low speed uh, shaft. It is held by the main bearing and a gearbox where there is also a bearing and it translates the speed of the low speed shaft into a high speed shaft that goes into the generator. On the low high speed shaft, we have also the mechanical brake for braking the, the, uh, the turbine at, at standstill. And all this is mounted on the bed plate, which forms the, the entire nacelle. And this bed plate can then also turn in the yaw direction on the tower top uh, using a yaw drive. The generator is connected to the converter. Typically, we have a variable speed turbine, which can, uh, a converter can convert the, uh, the speed of the generator into the, the grid frequency. And this is then through some transformation into the, uh, to the grid. The tower, the typical tower you see is a turbulent tower made of steel, but it could also be a lattice tower or even a combination uh, like a tripod tower where you have uh, larger structures than you have in the lattice tower. Then we have the, uh, the foundation. Typically onshore it's a gravitational foundation where the gravity is holding the whole thing and it's made out of concrete. Here you see where we are pouring the, the foundation for the research turbine at Risø campus, DTU. And here we see how the tower is then mounted on this foundation. When we go offshore, uh, there are different kinds of foundations and, and this is a, a large research area. We can have a monopile where we have, a, similar to the tower, a turbular steel structure that, we, uh, that is hammered into the ground. We have had a tripod which can also be hammered into the ground, the, the, the tripods, uh, uh, the, uh, the feet of the tripod, or it could also have a bucket foundation where there is a big uh, steel structure that is sucked into the, through the ground. We can have, have the jacket, or we can also have floating uh, devices like a simmer submersible structure with, uh, with mooring lines or a spar buoy 
where it's more like a buoy uh, also mounted with uh, mooring lines uh, to the ground. So we come to the summary. The main components of a horizontal axis wind turbine is the rotor blade, the nacelle and the tower and its foundation. And inside the uh, nacelle we have the drivetrain with the main bearing, the gearbox, the brake and the generator and some power electronics that converts the, the, uh, the power uh, produced in the generator to the grid side through some transformers. The main degrees of freedom is the azimuth rotation of the rotor, which is the one generating the power, the yaw rotation of the nacelle, which makes sure that we can turn the turbine into the wind, and then we have the pitch rotation of the blades about their lengthwise axis, which we use for controlling the aerodynamic torque on the rotor.